Yeah, let's do this quickly. So, uh, so this is not a difficult question. I guess I uh, pulled this up because it's uh, you know kind of open ended and didn't really directly relate to the questions I left in problems at seven. So here, really, uh, what it comes down to is figuring out um, in order to have the largest resistance, how should you connect the three resistors together and the way they should be connected together, as you kind of saw in in your introduction to Circuits Lab, is you want them connected in series arrangement. So if you have them connected this way, let's say one end point here and the other end point here that you can connect to some stuff to, if you have registers in series, then that maximizes how much resistance to the current it it presents. So you um, hope you know how to add registers in series. There's a formula that we derived in lecture and it uh, comes down to just uh, adding them all in uh, just regular way. <laughs> Quite simple. Uh, so here it would be 1100 I think. Yeah. Now if you're thinking of uh, making the resistance as small as possible then it's the other arrangement. If you connect them in parallel, that'll be one. Uh, parallel arrangement is give you, guaranteed to give you resistance that is smaller than the smallest of the registers. So it's going to be smaller than 50 ohm. And um, so let's calculate it out. The arrangement will be something like this, connected to, to, to these two terminals. Parallel means the end points of the registers have the same voltage if you had a voltage applied. So something like this would give you three registers connected in parallel. And, um, and uh, I like to write out the equivalent resistance in the reciprocal form. That uh, gives you the simplest presentation. Uh, so one over equivalent resistance is one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. I think that's the simplest to just to in a calculator. Um, so I can do 1 over 50 plus 1 over 150 plus 1 over 900. So that gives me 1 over equivalent resistance. I take that and take the reciprocal of that, 36 ohm. That's it. Um, so, so yeah, and it, this is smaller than 50 ohm. And how much is smaller than 50 ohm depends on how small are these. If they are very large, then it won't be that much smaller than 50 ohm. If they are comparable to 50 ohm, then, um, um, then like if you had two 50 ohm registers in parallel, your combined uh, equivalent resistance will be half that, 25 ohm. So, so yeah, it's uh, I think it's uh, the I pulled it out because. Um, the kind of thing you see when you're doing circuit analysis, uh, like a practical circuit analysis.